After years of grief for my husband Kun, I have traded our house for a sailboat after being asked by my eldest daughter what can make me happy now. With zero experience, I'm embarking on this adventure to pick up life again and explore the world. As you could see in the previous video, I sailed the boat to Lemmer with Tis, the previous owner. After a night of sleep with my little family, the big day had come to sail her to our berth in Marina Zand, a trip of approximately 9 hours. Walter guided us today, as I still had to learn everything. He did discuss the weather, as there will be a strong wind. Wind force 5 and 6, and that was quite strong for the kids' first experience. He suggested the possibility to go the next day, because the weather would be better. But after asking around, it didn't matter for them. And even Lily said she already had plans for the next day, so we went. After the bimini was folded and secured, it was time for the life jackets. I can't explain in a few words how I felt, but it was epic. Now we were still in the lee of the harbour, but as soon as we would leave the harbour, we would feel the wind and the waves for sure.
and what was nice to see was that Lily didn't know what to expect or if she felt like it. But in the end she took the helm and I saw her enjoying herself for a moment before she got, yeah, seasick. The wind and the waves went from 20 to 24 knots, with waves against the side of the boat which made you seasick very quickly. Nevertheless, the kids behaved very well, but I really felt sorry for them. Everyone looked for a place where they could best hold out. And some of them fell asleep from the fatigue and misery after we had calmed down a bit. Even Maui was suffering. We were heading for the lock at Ladystart where we could catch our breath. Something we definitely needed. Uh, I certainly did. I was very tired after all the work and arranging and now I was also worried about my daughters because of the tough first trip. So I got a bit grumpy when I couldn't get the mooring lines on the bollards. I'm so sorry Walter.
But soon that our stomachs calmed down and the sun was shining, we could smile with relief because we cut through the first bit. We had to wait until the bridge opened, so Wesley and Dan made tea and sandwiches so we could have lunch and recover. We prepared ourselves for another four to five hours with the same conditions as the first part, but fortunately it was not that bad. The waves were now coming from the front and the wind had calmed down a bit. the second part went fast and just at the very end we could roll out the jib and sail a bit more until we saw the entrance of the Marina Muidersand. After all that time of moving, preparing, planning and doing our jobs, today everything came together. The boat in the harbour where we are going to live our new life.
makkelijk. Oh! <laughs> Ik zei het makkelijk, maar het is altijd beter. Oh, oké, dat ben je toch? Ja, nou, ik was super dicht bij en ik gooi verkeerd, dus uh, hij is zwaar. Het is zwaarder dan die andere. Dat denk ik ook wel was. Nee, hij moet gewoon slecht gegooid. Ja, boekschroef! Staat dat erop? Het staat erop hoor. That was it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to help me grow my channel, don't forget to like or subscribe. I thank you very much. Bye. Oh, yes. And in the next episode.